shit like for the pictures and shit yeah. like that. Like, Your thoughts, I can. So, I w- I want people to understand something. Um, you know when when these guys they they when these guys are, you know these these are family members who go through stuff, and they wasn't cool before that because. Let's be honest about it. Um, take off. Uh, um, Offset really did some grimy stuff behind closed doors. So there's a reason why they don't mess with each other. Now, I'm not going to say he doesn't love them. He doesn't love Quavo. But, you know, their beef stems from a woman. I do think that their relationship will never be cool. It wasn't cool. <coughs> be, um, it wasn't cool before um, take off died. Um, even though Takeoff was somewhat cool with Offset, but all um Takeoff and Quavo are uncle and nephew, so they was together all the time. So when Takeoff died, the Migos was done. Um, plus Offset is Hollywood for some reason. Mm-hmm. I never looked at him as a team player. He always seemed like he wanted to be the man. Plus, he's a DV. He wants to dunk his donuts everywhere he go. Like it's not a, it's not enough that you got five kids or six kids. You 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 got beautiful women, and you, it's not enough for you. He's a guy that's not content. You have to learn how to be content because you're gonna lose everything. Um, Ashton said they they were best friends, but now they 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 broken. Um, they 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 broken. Um. Uh, that, technically, shout out to Chicago Rilla in the Chicago Rilla, Chicago. Um, this is why we need. This is why we need brothers to hold each other accountable. If they was that best friends, they'd still be talking. But here's the thing: some lines can look, um cross the line. You gotta have good morals. You feel me, Ricky Webster? Doom Doom is in the building. I Ricky. <laughs> I always rock with Ricky, man. It's always great to see you, my brother. Always great. But go ahead, Akeem. Yeah, yeah. I also want to comment on what Ashton said. I also want to comment. Yeah, don't Ashton. say that. Yeah, don't get quiet now. Cause me, me, no, me, I'm, not, I'm not getting quiet. Getting quiet. I got quiet. listen. I got mint in my mouth. <laughs> I got peppermint in my mouth. So. You know what I mean? I just I got peppermint. Shout outs to Mimi from the other end. So here's the thing. Ashton, you are bonsoir. Uh, um, listen, it's easy to be best friends with somebody when you're broke. Ashton, you're really right about that. Ashton, you, uh, you're honing in on something. When fame and money comes, then it can really test how well you and the person are down. I always have this quote that I used to say to everybody. It's easy for me to be cool with you when I'm not. Wait till I'm up and I got a million or two million. Let's see if I'm your friend then. No, but um, um, peace to you, brother, um, beautiful Mimi. Great to see you. Always great to see you in the building. No, but Hakeem, they they create a group together. Them three. God rest his soul, take off. I I rock with the Mingos. I rock with the Mingos when they do oh, yeah. the stage. I you know, I like their style. Versace, offset Versace. is it mm-hmm. without offset there wouldn't have been no amigos. Well, our quavo wouldn't have been no amigo. Of course, take off bond, the amigos have never been the same again. But offset is upset because right now on social media pretty much are seeing the disconnecting. The disconnect. It's the same thing right now, Hakeem. Me and you, we grew up each other for the, over 20 yep, years, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And then one day me and you don't which you know that's not gonna happen because I realize yeah. we so we brothers. We get into all the cases. I'm gonna come to your house. I'm like, I can't. I apologize. Yeah. You know where I, I really live. Yeah, you know. I, I know you. And I know where you really live. You know where I really. Live. I rather end it. And we we ain't even going like what Offset and Quavo's going. No. But they not seeing them like taking pictures together. They're not seeing them on the ground together. Mm-hmm. You see, like something happened with Offset. Quavo don't say anything. He's just quiet. Something happened to Quavo. Offset don't. He's not saying anything. So it's like it's. It's hurt. It's hurting a lot of fans, especially the Amigos fans, to see that they're like, "Yo, are you guys really cool? Or are you just saying that for? Are you just pretty much saying that for clout?" Well, basically, 
Ash just said he could see you in the picture saying Versace, 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 like I'm from Versace. <laughs> you know, because they all got dreads. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm a, shout out to Jabbar. Jabbar got me into the Amigo. So, you yeah. know, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, it's a sad thing to see when I see, like, them two going at it. And I ain't that for him to, like, play it off. You, you can tell, even in the interview, you can tell, like, he's very emotional. He's emotional yeah. about it. Yeah, he so he's is, like, he damn, is. like, y'all keep talking about our relationship when we, we telling you nothing's really going on. We, you know, he doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. But, I and I, I forgot about that woman incident that he got into one of Quavo's women. And it's just, <laughs> you know, allegedly. But, but let me ask you a question. What do you think, after a loss of a brother, they would have got close together? That's what I thought. I thought that. Oh, you know, remember people grieve differently too, because seeing Quavo might see take off, because they both got dread. No, well, all right. three of them have dread, but you say, why do grown people need to bring everything to social media? They seem like they being they they seem like they're being mature. You're right. No, but they 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 artists. They have to bring it on social media because they're you, artists. You're right. I, I, you want to know what I think too? When you sign up for this type of lifestyle, your life is on public display. No matter how much you try to be private, is somebody always going to figure something out? You know I me. Mean? Your private life, who you're dating, and who this. I just think that um, if you have real core family values and your faith in God is strong, a lot of this stuff can be diminished. Look at Russell Wilson. He gets hate. Shout out to Marcy D. Genesis after dark. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to like a, in the I, already, I like that one. I was yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so 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 you 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 do this like me, I'm a very private person. I don't like my business out there like that. You know what I mean? And and Ron as well. He knows things that nobody don't know. And I know, you know what I mean? And but but we, we have to have some type of anonymity. And that you need to have some sort of privacy. But I think that. We, since we chase the money so much, we're willing to compromise certain things. And I think that right now, I think fans do forget these are real people with real problems. And they think that everything needs to be in display. You know what I mean? But I do think that a certain level, that's why I say if you're not grounded before you get rich or you're not grounded before God blesses you with an opportunity, everything's going to crumble around you. I can't see myself not getting rich with my brothers or my mother or y'all. You know what I mean? I want to put, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm getting rich and I don't have my, it's not worth it anymore. I want to buy people time. But I also, too, I don't want people around me to change, and I don't want to change myself. A lot of this stuff stems from everybody's changing when opportunity comes. God complex comes into the point. They start to think they're God, literally, and forget that God got them there. I, but it's just a sad thing to see Offset, uh, uh, pretty much uh, the way he's, he's very uh, um, emotional about what's going on between him and Quavo. Uh, I think he's about. If you ask me, I think Offset. I think um, Offset is lying. I think they they have not re recognize, reconciled their relationship. Um, I think because it's a part. I don't know if it, I don't know if he blames. Because Offset, Offset was not there when um, Takeoff got um, deleted. No, right? No, he wasn't. It was he, he Quavo. He wasn't there. So I, that one thing, I think he probably blamed Quavo for that. Um, it, could, you, it could be. This is my speculation. I'm not saying it's true or not, but it seemed like he probably blamed um, Quavo for that. No, I, 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 um, that's not far-fetched. A lot of people blame Quavo. So, and they brothers. It's yeah. the same thing with me. Like, I came, I take you somewhere... Your family will kill me. Um, excuse my language. You, same, you know your family. Your family ain't gonna play. Listen, same thing with yours. And exactly. this is and this is why I've always made it a personal preference. When I used to run the streets, I did not bring nobody who I know was related to me hang with me and my goonie goon goons. Yeah, and you facts. You see what I'm saying? I never brought people around the guys I used to hang with, and when I got like it was none nobody business because I didn't want to have nothing on my conscience. If I get out there and I get and something happens to me, I know that was on my own volition. But a lot of people don't think that they're starting in the beefs and stuff. And it's, it's, it's not it's not that type of